Hello everybody, Jessica here. Welcome back to my channel. I um, well, Welcome to my new subscribers. Thanks so much for joining us. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I am working on a nautical themed journal and last video I made, we worked on making this elastic board. I have since thrown in the this little this was actually, this piece of cardboard was the cutoff that I got from this piece of, it's just the backing to an art pad. And I just threw in some eyelets and threaded some flat elastic through those eyelets and glued it down. And um, I am using that to hold these cute little vials that you can use to keep um, little bits of sand from different places that you visit. And each one has its own charm. I also made two super simple pockets. This is gonna hold, this is just a placeholder. This is going to hold um, sample slides, specimen slides, and this is the booklet that those specimen slides are gonna go into. And on this pocket, I did make a little bit of a quarter inch um, box, kind of a spine all around the edges. Uh, so I just scored at a quarter inch and another quarter inch after that, and then glued it down. So that's where we are. So today, what I want to work on is the inside front cover. And on this inside front cover, I wanna have a tuck spot here. And then I wanna have an envelope that flips, flips over. And I wanna use one of these cute little, um, uh, I don't know actually what you call this, but it's like a little um, latch. Hold on, let me open it. It's like a little latch. Uh, metal turn mounts It's is what it says on the package. Metal turn mounts. Here, I'll hold it up so you can see. So there's the package. Metal turn mounts. And they're in different colors. And they you just put an eyelet through that and it can turn... So it will hold down the edge of the envelope. So I picked out some papers. This is actually the inside front cover of the Stamperia Sea Land. So this is what I'm gonna use for the, um, just the tuck spot right here. And then I'm gonna use this for my envelope. And it's a 12 by 12. I'm just thinking I wanted it to be a little bit bigger than that. I think I have another one of these. Hold on, let me see if I have another one of these in my pile of papers down here. Yeah, I have a brand new, was this in my backgrounds? I have another unopened set of backgrounds. So I might actually use two sheets, two 12 by 12 sheets to make a good size um, envelope, and that way I won't be limited by the size of the paper. I love this background set. Oh, that's a cool one. So cool. Here it is. It also is really nice and has a really nice background on that one. Such a good set. Okay, so let's do our Oh, and I grabbed a piece of sari silk, and I'm going to use this piece of sari silk as the hinge for the envelope so it can flip in and out, and I do want to make it gusseted. So let me just do a really quick, simple um, I'm just thinking about this. I'm going to have to I'm just going to cut I'm going to cut this down first um, and then because I need to place this strategically and I might need to have the completed envelope to figure out that out. I think I have a cutting plan. Okay, bear with me. Bear with me, I just had a thought. Okay, where's my pencil? Here's my pencil. I'm gonna cut down here. And how far out do I want this to go? I think that might be too far. It's just a tuck spot. 
I'll do it right along this edge. Is that where I is that far enough? Yes, that's far enough in there. Okay, so tuck spot here. Do I want to make this a gusseted tuck spot? Maybe I'll just make some gussets along the edges, but not the back. I think that might be. This, this blade is starting to feel like it's dragging a little. I don't know if I have any more replacement blades, though. Hmm. I'll have to look. Hopefully it'll hang in there for just a little, little while longer. When these blades start to go, they start to like rough up the edge. Okay, so that is going to be there. Like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't. So I'm just gluing that down. I didn't make gussets for that. That's okay. So on these tuck spots, what I like to do, oops, sorry, is get around. Oops, I want to do a half inch round on the corners that stick out like that. And then I'll do a thumb hole that sticks out here like that. And then I'll just eyeball the center. So I'll just glue that down like that. And then this is going to have to stick on this someplace strategically. But I don't know where that's going to be yet. So we're going to stick that aside and we'll commit later. And then this will have to be the back side of the gusseted envelope and then I'll do uh, an envelope up here and the base from down here so maybe I want to make some folds because then I could how wide do I want this do I want to make just this the, the the envelope fold maybe it goes like this maybe it goes like this and that is the envelope top Ooh, I think that will work and then I can sew the um, hinge on hinge on there the base can come up like that. And these, do I have enough for these to be the gussets? Only if it's a very small gusset. It look like, looks like I do could do maybe a half inch on either side. No, I think I want to do a full gusset. Okay. So this is going to go like this. going to be my envelope top. Then, so do I want to cut this down to size and then have a bottom flap up like this, but from here, actually might have to take a little bit off because I need this goes here like so and this goes here oh no there's just enough room for this to flip over the edge so then the bottom of the envelope should start around here I think what I'll do is I will trim, trim a half inch off either side, see how that looks, because I don't want to take off, I don't really want to take off the um, starfish arm there, all right, 
like that. And then and then line that up properly. And I'm gonna cut off this much off the bottom. I want to take about a half an inch off the bottom too because it's a little bit too much but I like the way the starfish there look I already folded it okay so this is gonna go like this this is gonna go here you can round those corners my little flippy thing will go here it will latch onto the base of the envelope and then my envelope will maybe come up like that. I really want those squid guys. I think they're adorable. Like that. Or do I want to do this one like this? I guess there is no directionality. To this. The squid, the squid guys are so cute. I like those squid guys. Okay, like that. So I'm gonna cut. First, I do, I am going to need a bottom. Okay, so let's just cut this strip off first, the side strip. So it's the right width. go okay now I do need I need it to come up a little bit to the top so you can get your hand in there so it's not all the way so I need it to be kind of like that could even come down a bit so you can get your hand in there but then I also need about um, if I do an inch, another inch past that, so I can do a half, two half inch scores. So it'll have a little bit of a gusset at the bottom as well. Okay. So that's where I want that. Okay. And then I need a half inch score. There. And then at an inch, another half inch score there. And then that will get folded back like that. And then this will get folded as well. Okay. So there's a little bit of a spine at the base. And then this will glue down like so. And then I need some gussets on the side. How wide is this? Please let this be four inches. If this is four inches, that will be brilliant. Hot dog. <laughs> yeah, I plan to do that, right? <laughs> okay, so 
So I need this to be the same height as this. It could be a little shorter actually, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna cut that off there. Okay, and then I need these to be two inch, two inches each, two, like that. And then I'm actually gonna grab my scoreboard to score these. Okay, so I'm gonna make those W gussets. So I'm gonna do every half inch, half, half, And then these get folded like this. So now these are the gussets for the sides. The envelope, same thing with this one. Half, half, half. I'm doing it at this side because I'm right-handed. I just find it easier. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like trying to, I just find it easier. <laughs> okay, so fold these all in that W zigzag accordion fold. Okay. All right, so now we have our pieces. That's gonna go there. This is going to go here. Let's get this all lined up. This goes here. The two gussets are going to go here. Where's my other gusset? There's my other gusset. And here. And then this goes... So when I glue this down, I want to leave a lip here. And the reason I want the lip here is because I want my little twisty lever to lock this down so that when the cup cover is opening and closing, it's not flapping around. So I'm going to have my little thing there. And I also want a... I also need a closure for the envelope cover. Um, and I actually have this left over. I made one of these for the other journal that I, I made one too many. So I could use that and then I can make a little tab punch. I have this from Amazon. I think it might be Vossen Creative, but there's no name on it. It might be a knockoff, but I got it off Amazon and it's the whale tail punch. And for this whale tail punch, what you do is you take your piece of paper that you're gonna use and you have to fold it. And then you stick the folded piece in there and you see there's a stopper right there so that when you clamp down it doesn't doesn't cut the fold and it gives you a little whale tail punch tab thing okay so this could go but i don't i don't know if i like that i don't like those for this i want this i want this material so i'm gonna make some Closures. My other thing is I really need this to be um, on a hinge. And I want the hinge up here. Like so. And it's going to be a whole lot easier for me to 
sew the sorry silk hinge onto here while it is still not put together. And my, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna run a bead of, um, what do you call this stuff? Glue stick. Along here, where's my, to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna sew it. Um, was that the piece I cut? Yes, that's the piece I cut. Or is this the piece I cut? That's the piece I cut. I'm gonna sew it on my machine, which is behind me, and I can't can't show you my sewing. So, um, I either fast forward. Or just bear with me a second while I run a line of stitches through this onto, I'm not going to glue it onto the, the thing, just onto here. So give me one sec. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Here we go. Whoops, don't want to sew the flat closed. Okay, I want a zigzag stitch. All right, again, I'm done. Clicky, clicky. Okay, so. This will be the hinge, and I will just then glue this strip to the edge of the journal. Okay, so that being done, now I can start assembling. I want um, put this down first. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this one down first, and it needs to go right about there. Like that. Um, okay. Glue. Let me cover up my crit stick. This is art glitter glue that I have in. I've decanted into this little this little bottle is just because it has a very nice precision tip. I find it easier to work with than a big bottle. Okay, and I have to find that again. Right about there. Oops, 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 oops. The art glitter glue does grab very quickly. So you have to be kind of meticulous and quick with it. Otherwise it tears your paper. I think that might be slightly wonky. You really don't have much time to fix things with it. But on the other hand, it grabs really quickly. <laughs> okay, so then this is gonna go there with my other gusset. Uh-oh, what'd I do? Here it is. Okay, so with these gussets, when they get stretched out, I want the flat side to be on the outer bit. So that's how I, if I forget which way it goes, that's how I remember. Okay, so that is going to go right at the bottom there and right up against the edge. Like that. Same thing for this one. I want the edge. That's okay. The edge to be on the outside bit, so it's going to go there. So this is the bottom. Going to glue that down. Turn shape, take shape, you guys. 
and I want that to be right up against the edge like that okay so before I completely make shut this make this shut closed like this which is how it's going to be I want to think about my closure for the wrong here. Did I do that too far down? I did it too far down. Yikes. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, just in time. All right, let's do that again. So you can see it did pull up some of the decorative bit, but that's okay. It'll be hidden. See, I I followed the wrong seam and I did it too far, too close to the bottom gusset there. There we go. That works. Okay, phew, fixed. No worries, all fixed. Okay, so now, this is going to fold up like that. There we go. Now that works nicely. Um, you can get your hand in there nicely, but I do want to have some kind of closure there. So I said I wanted to use this piece of, of, um, that would work. Maybe I'll just use this since I already have this circle bit made, I'm just going to move the prong to the other side there we go that works so what i have here are two discs um and i can glue this bottom disc down so it'll still be able to get a string through there without going through the page um so that you don't have to worry about the prongs on the inside of the envelope but i do need a um, I do need, I don't think that'll be wide enough, will it? No. I do need a, oh, there's a fishy. I wonder if I could get that fishy on there. Um, let's see, like, like that. Um, a whale tail tab. Let me get that straight. Like, like that. Okay. Uh, no, I missed the fishy. Okay, I'm gonna, um, okay, let's see. Did that work? kind of worked. You kind of get the fishy face. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this here and glue that there. I'm going to ink them with um, Uncharted Mariner. and just give that another ink like that okay here we go getting there uh, glue this down here like that okay i'm just gonna eyeball the center ish like like so make sure it's not stuck down. I only want the bottom disc stuck down. I want the top disc to rotate freely. And I will glue this down because I'm going to put an eyelet in there and then the, uh, the string will go through the eyelet and around the disc. So that's going to go opposite like 
so. Like that. Okay. All right, now, how are we? I need to glue down these. Edges lined up, and all the edges lined up here. All right, and the last piece of this that we need is an eyelet and a string. So here's my eyelet maker. Here are, you know, what I think I want. I recently got some interesting colored eyelets. Will this match? Yeah, I kind of like that. This is Craftelier Metallic Eyes. I also got black, black, black and kind of a, a bronzy color. But I like this, I like this pop of green right here. Kind of in the ocean colorway. The color is just metallic turquoise. And the number is 50472. But I got, think I got these off Amazon. I think. Not sure. But it, there's a website. It says M-I-T-I-E-N-D-A. Oh, here. M-I-T-I-E-N-D-A-D-E-A-R-T-E. Mitiendeart.com and it's Craftelier. Oh, Mitienda de Art. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. But I'm pretty sure I got them off Amazon. All right, so this is the larger size. So that's this one here. I'm going to put a uh, hold. There's my pokey. Pokey tool, where are you, pokey tool? Oh dear, lost the pokey tool. Okay, maybe the pencil will do. I got some papers, paper stuck in there. Hmm, where is my pokey tool? Did it fall on the floor? Oh dear. Um. Oh, here it is. Ha, I put it back where it belongs. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, here we go. I'm going to make a hole here. Like that. And then this will go through here. Oops. That's a fun pop of color. I like that. And then give it a squish. There we go. And... I need a piece of string. I've been using this kind of waxed linen thread, so I think I will continue to use that. Although I did use on the other one, didn't I have? I've got a green. I've got this green. Baker's twine. Decisions. Okay. And I'll put this through here. And this through here and then I have some charms that I pulled out I've got what have I got left I've got uh, a wheel and an anchor I like the anchor better so I'll just thread that through Ooh, I made that really uneven. Let's see if I can make that a little bit more even here. It's hard because it is waxed. 
It doesn't like to slide. This one is the long one. This one is the long one. Ah, mad. Okay, hold on. Let me do it the proper way. Even them up. Pull it through again. There we go. Slide it through. Pull. Tie knot. Okay. All right. Oh, did I still not do it right? You gotta be kidding me. How'd that happen? That's okay. It's okay. It all works out. There we go. We just wrap it around there and voila. Okay, so I have an envelope. Looks good to me. Let me glue down my tuck spot here. Or no, let's first figure out where we want the cute little doohickey to go. Because I want to, I'm gonna have to put an eyelet through and then washi tape the back side so things don't get caught on it. All right, I think we're gonna go with this brass one. Because we've got brass happening elsewhere. And then we're gonna do it right here at the kind of the, just above the middle. If everything lines up, I want it to go, uh, I want it to go there. Oh, I just need a pokey tool. And I need a brad. Uh, what a brass brad. Here's a brass brad. Okay. Oops. So I hope you're all doing well. Let's see, today is, I haven't really been chatting much about other things today, have I? Um, today is Tuesday. Um, not a lot going on today. I'm gonna get some work done. Um, my husband is working on the bed for my son back to take back to school. Let's see, I will just push those legs through and I'm gonna put some washi tape on the back there. Um, where is my go-to backing washi tape? Do I have it out? Oh, this is what happens when you don't put your toys away. Hmm. All right, I'll just use some of this. Oh, look. Oh, found some washing tape I didn't realize I had. All right, this is some good Tim Holtz tape. Putting it back. <laughs> and I will just reinforce that with some glue stick. And see now, if you slide things in and out there, it won't get stuck. Okay, and I need to glue this down on three sides. Like so. And this will go like so. I don't want it to crash up against the, the seam, the fold. go. 
And now I need to glue this down. I think I'm gonna use a line of Fabri-Tac for this. Where's my pin for my, oh, I really am getting in too much of a mess here and I need to do some tidying. Got a lot of fallout from the previous couple of days work. Ah, oh, there it is. I put the flower on the pin so I can find it. Doesn't always work, <laughs> but works well enough. Okay, so I need a line of Fabri-Tac along here. <clears throat> I should have had this upside down. I'm getting a low. I can see it sliding down though. Come on. All right, hold on. So I think I have another bottle in here. Yes, I do. I got a brand new bottle. How exciting is that? Oops. The, uh, the little metal metallic stopper bit is stuck inside the... Come on, you. There we go. Oh, I almost had it. Almost got it. Here. Ha! Okay. All right, here I go. Good to go. Thank you for bearing with me, guys. I want to stick around and see the final product, right? Okay, some thin lines of Fabri-Tac right there. And then this needs to get glued down like so. Excess here. Get a good kind of a burnishing. Rubs off pretty easily any excess that oozed out. Okay. Okay, so now we have an envelope that flips open and a, oops, that actually didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. I'm gonna push this down a bit. There we go. Uh, I didn't, doesn't quite reach. Somehow I messed up on the measurement there. But you know what we can do is we can, I have an idea. All is not lost. I'm going to make another whale tail tab. And if I put the whale tail tab on here like so, yeah, that's not gonna work either. Oh, that's so annoying. <clears throat> okay, well, there's that tab. I also have another type of tab. Never give up. This type of tab. Where's my piece of favorite paper? There it is. This is an EK Success um, tab punch. I really like it. 
It has a lower profile. So I can fold this one, put it on, and it'll just extend this enough so the little doohickey will keep, yes, that works. Okay, so let's glue this down. I'm gonna give it a little bit of an ink on both sides. And glue this down with art glitter glue. and put it on right there. There, it also serves as a tab that you can grab it like I meant to do it. There we go. Ha, I kinda like that. See, happy accidents. And now I can open and close my gusseted envelope. I can open my gu gusseted envelope. I can throw things in there while I'm on the go that I mean to stick in my journal later on. And easily close it up. Or I can open this up and throw some things, tuck some things into my secret tuck spot as well. So that is my inside front cover of my Armchair Sailor Nautical Journal. And we still have to do the cover. We still have to decorate this and I need a journal and figure out what I'm doing back here. But it's coming along. Thanks so much for hanging out and crafting with me today, guys. If you could hit that like button and please consider subscribing. And I will um, see you in the next video. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.